Hello, everybody. It's Brian at Pioneerisa, and I've been having a lot of fun with breakouts lately. Um, I actually just did my first breakout session. It was at a at a retreat with some other geeky educators, and we did a physical breakout box where they had locks on them, like physical. You know, you had to have the codes to lock unlock them to get the prize, whatever was in the treasure chest type thing. Um, and I was able with some other friends to uh, duplicate this whole process all digitally, which um, I like to do physical things, but I don't always have physical things with me. And so to make a digital breakout can be a lot of fun and actually can can cause a lot of deep thinking in the classroom, problem solving and communication among students and even teachers in a professional development setting. So I want to show you how I did it. There's two main steps um, to do it all digitally. Number one, you have to have some kind of lock system. And what's cool is you, you can actually do this in Google Forms. Let's go look at it. I want to show you how you can make a Google Form. Um, and make it kind of like a lock. So I'm gonna to go to my timer and locks page. And as you can see on the timer and locks, here's a timer and all it is is a is something that the students can play. I could project if I want and says, hey, you got 10 minutes to solve this thing if you're going to get credit for it. Um, and if you're gonna win the prize or whatever the prize is, maybe it's just pride, um, which I think is, is worth something. So there's the timer, they could play that. But here's the big one. This is what um, some people maybe never thought about using Google Forms like this. I'm all about repurposing Google Apps for for other um, for other for other ideas, other things that that's I'm trying to come up with. So right here, um, I have one that says Brian's first car. So I, I did a I did a um, breakout session, and or people had to guess my my first car, and I gave them some clues. Well, if they type down here, and we can do um, I can go to preview, so we can actually do this live. What's cool about this lock? This is a lock, pretty much. Um, if they they type, let's say Brian's first car, they're like, "Oh, it was a Mercedes." You know, Brian had to have a Mercedes. Nope, Mercedes. Uh, I probably spelled that wrong. Uh, Mercedes. There you go. If I hit submit. Nope, that's not it. Uh, but if I put Cougar, that's my first car. If I hit submit, then it says, "Wow, it was a sweet machine." Miss it dearly. So they they doesn't let them progress. And right there, I could have a special message that tells them to go on somewhere else if they get that one right. And um, so these are these these can actually um, substitute as as digital locks by doing data validation in Google Forms. And I'm going to show you how you can do that in a Google Form. So in Drive, you hit New, you make a form, and you have to give a form a name. And it's probably it's whatever the the question is, like you know Brian's, oh not the question, sorry. I want to put it up in the in the name of the form. I could say Brian. Oh, oh my goodness, Brian's first car, like the one I just did, or it could be Brian's secret code, whatever. Brian's secret code. And the question needs to be a short answer. All right, and we need to require it. And there, there will be no name of the question. Um, there's, there's, the the name of the form is the question. Really, it's what they have to type in. But this is the magical part. We have the three dots here, and do response validation. And it needs to be a number, um, for, at least for this one. But I tell you, we'll just do text. Text is a text is a little easier. And text, we need to say it contains this. So Brian's secret code. Let's say my secret code was. 7658. In the error text, if they don't get that right, we have to say something like, oh, oops. So close. Not really. Ha, ha, ha. Not really. Okay. And then laugh. Um, be, be nice, though. Okay. So if they don't put that number in, they're going to get the error message until they get the right number. So you make that. Looks good. Make sure your settings are good. That um, whoever whoever's allowed to take this, um, you're knowledgeable. So right here it says restrict to Pioneer Risa users. That's where I work. That means only people I work with can do this. So if it wants to be outside of the community, I have to uncheck that. Um, right here and it says presentation. This is where you can say, when they do it correctly, you can say, hey, good job. Now move on to the next, to the next clue. Right, hit save. There we go. We made this thing. So that's cool. I mean, this right here is like a lock. If they don't get that right, they can't see the secret message or go on to the number number two, uh, number two clue. 
So what we were looking at here, like I said, it was a, is a, uh, a timer. We had the two locks, but I made all this, all this is, is like, it's a website and I put all this stuff together. Um, and it's like a little, it's a little thematic website kind of walks them through this problem and they have to get through it and solve the puzzles in order to win and get through the assignment. Um, you can see, I'll go to my second puzzle. This is the one. Yeah. Right here. We'll go to this. And so I made this in a Google site and I said, who are you? Oh, because I had a story about me uh, in this situation, a story about me and I lost my memory. And so people have to tell me uh, how I met my wife. And so I gave some people some clues down here and there's some chickens, a restaurant and Zorro. Well, if you know me, if you, if you know me at all, uh, I met my wife at a Zaxby's drive through Okay. It's a great place to meet the ladies. All right. And so Zaxby's is what's going to break the lock on the timer, but they'd have to figure that out. That could have been a math problem. It could have been some really cool math problem um, using using movie characters, where, pictures, whatever you want to do. They could have had to watch a video, analyze, analyze data. But I want to show you how to make the Google site, and I'll be real brief. So new, more, Google Sites. And you be very patient, depending on what kind of internet you have. You give your side a name. We'll call it Brian's Breakout. All right. And you can give your page a title. Let me show you how I added that, that form. It's easy. It's awesome. So over here on the right, you can go to uh, Forms. You click forms, you'll see it under recent, and there it is, Brian's secret code. You click it, hit insert, and there it goes. Um, you can make it half the page if you want. You can do a couple codes there. You can scroll down so they can see the submit button. All right. And they have to guess that. So, and you keep in, and you, you can make a separate page for all your locks. You know, this is how I did mine. Um, you know, I made different pages. So for my puzzles were on a separate page, my start here was like the whole thematic, what is this breakout about? And they had a page called Timer and Locks, and that's where all this stuff was. All right. All the timer and the two locks. But that's how you that's how you add a form. And so you could have made another page just for I'll do it, I'll do it for you just for a second right here. So pages plus, and you call it timer and locks. And this will also add uh, to our home home menu. Watch this. There it is. Timer and locks. And you can add your forms here as well as a timer. There's a YouTube option here. And you could add a YouTube video there as a timer. So, hey, there's enough there to be dangerous. You can make this as complex as you want. I know some very creative people. Uh, I know people who, who like a challenge. Um, I know some people who would love to do this with their students, do it with their faculty. But here's a digital way to have a breakout. And I hope you make one. Let me know if you make one, if you have any questions. See you.